Did Valentina Petrullo's historic run at the Paralympics spark inspiration or controversy? As the first transgender athlete to compete on the track at the Paralympics, Petrullo has made headlines, but her journey to the 400-meter final in Paris 2024 didn't end as some had hoped. What really happened on that purple track, and what does it mean for the future of sports? Valentina Petrullo's name has been at the center of a heated debate as the 51-year-old transgender athlete took to the track at the Paris 2024 Paralympics. Competing in the women's 400-meter T12 event for visually impaired athletes, Petrullo's performance has been both celebrated and scrutinized, making her one of the most talked-about figures in the games. Petrullo, who previously won 11 national men's titles before transitioning, set a new personal best time of 57.58 seconds during the semifinals. Despite this impressive feat, it wasn't enough to secure her a spot in the final. Iran Sajar Safrazada Gadarajani took first place in the semifinal, finishing with a time of 56.07 seconds, leaving Petrullo in third place and out of contention for the final. This race marked a significant moment in Petrullo's career, not only as a personal achievement but also as a landmark in Paralympic history. Petrullo's eligibility to compete in the women's category had been accepted by the sports governing body, World Par Athletics, WPA, who confirmed that her testosterone levels, post-transition, met the criteria required to compete in the female category. However, Petrullo's participation hasn't been without controversy. Critics, including some fellow athletes, argue that Petrullo may have an unfair advantage due to her previous experience competing as a male. German Paralympian Katrin müller rotgart voiced concerns, stating that while everyone should live their life comfortably, competitive sports present unique challenges. She pointed out that Petrullo's physical requirements might differ from those of someone born female, potentially giving her an edge in the competition. Further fueling the debate, Madrid-based lawyer Irene Aguiar expressed her disappointment, claiming that Petrullo's inclusion in the event deprived a Spanish female athlete of her chance to compete in Paris. Aguiar's criticism underscores a broader discussion on fairness and inclusion in sports, with many questioning how to balance these competing values. Despite the backlash, Petrullo remains steadfast in her belief that her participation is about more than just competition. In an emotional statement following her semi-final race, Petrillo reflected on her journey, describing it as the culmination of years of hard work and determination. This is beautiful. It's hard, but I'm here for this. I've been working here for three years, she said. For Petrillo, the Paris Paralympics is not just a sporting event, but a platform to advocate for the inclusion and happiness of all athletes, regardless of gender identity. As the Paralympics continue, Petrullo is set to compete in the 200M event, hoping to make her mark in another race. Whether or not she advances further in the competition, Petrullo's presence at these games has already ignited important conversations about the future of sports and the role of transgender athletes on the world stage. That's a wrap for today's video. Do you think Valentina Petrullo's participation is a step forward for inclusion in sports, or does it raise fairness concerns? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more updates. I'm from AU News, and we'll see you next time.